But if you feel like you're not getting anything from that commitment and you're trying, you gotta go. You gotta go. This is your life. Do you want to be stuck with someone? Taking marriage advice from Mia Khalifa is like taking nutrition or weight loss advice from Lizzo. Two divorces and a failed engagement by the time you are 30 years old is not a flex. Marriage and actually committing yourself to fall in love with the right man is a flex. Marriage is not just a piece of paper that you can easily get out of. And newsflash, there's a reason that married women are statistically the most happy, the most fulfilled, and have the best sex lives. So maybe instead of taking sex and marriage advice from a literal porn star, we should think about bringing marriage back into society as a virtue again. I am never surprised anymore when I hear the statistics about Gen Z, particularly Gen Z women, being the most lonely, anxious, depressed, and suicidal generation in all of human history. When this is the advice that we are giving the next generation of girls for how to be happy. You are worthy of so much more. All right, guys. So we got to talk about the disturbing trend, the extremely disturbing trend of 304s. I meant women, and I'm using the term women here very loosely, uh, telling other women to leave their marriages to get divorced, okay? To treat marriage as if it is just something that you do. And that is not an actual commitment that you made to your partner, right? A covenant that you made with your partner, okay? A promise that you made to God that you stay together forever. No, it's not that. It's just a piece of paper that you signed. And, um, you know, hey, if you want to just rip it up and just say, you know what, I'm done, then, hey, just leave your husband, right? And you have women out here who are celebrating this, pretending that it actually makes them happy to divorce their husbands time and time and time again like washed up adult film actress or former adult film actress uh mia khalifa who is going viral for again telling women to get divorced take a look oh we're comparing stats baby girl doesn't know that i am tom brady at this game married at 18 divorced at 21 second marriage married at 25 divorced at 28 third engagement engaged at 29 ended it at 30 but i kept the ring i'm still keeping tom brady on his toes we should not be afraid to leave these men we are not stuck with these people marriage is not a sanctimonious thing it is it is paperwork it's something it's 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 a commitment you make to someone but if you feel like you're not getting anything from that commitment and you're trying you gotta go you gotta go you have to go i know it's difficult to fill out paperwork and to make appointments and to do all of these things but this is your fucking life do you want to be stuck with someone it's, period do you want to be stuck with someone excuse me baby girl divorce is expensive for everybody especially if you're the one who has to pay the alimony to the broke ass bum what you are saying with this statement is that you personally would sacrifice your independence and your freedom and your peace of mind and your happiness for a little financial stability at, at what price at like at, at what cost to me to me, that seems way more expensive than, I don't know, a couple thousand dollars to break up. What? Like, y'all really got to stop conditioning yourselves to, to feel like you can't take care of yourself. You are not at the whims of these men. You can leave and start your own life. You should leave and start your own life if you're not happy with everything. Everything should meet your standards. Otherwise, get the fuck out. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now, before I get in my commentary on this, okay, I, I just have to remind you guys that Mia Khalifa is the same person that got caught uh, literally putting a shit mask on her mouth, okay, uh, while walking her dog. I just got back from traveling and I have to walk my dog, so safety first. Everyone has to wear a mask. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, so I'm not sure if that is the person that young women should be taking advice from when it comes to a relationship. Okay, a twice divorced, one failed engagement adult film actress, who, by the way, was not very good, okay, when she was doing that job. Okay, so I'm not sure a woman should be taking advice from her in regards to what to do in the bedroom either, because she was pretty terrible at that job, too. Again, I'm not sure if this is the person that women should be taking advice from, okay? It seems like she is coping with the reality that she simply uh, can't find happiness with a man. And therefore, she feels that it's reasonable to tell women that uh, they should just go out here and just get a divorce for any little reason, right? You have to be happy in all aspects of your life. If you are not 100% happy... You don't stick it out. You don't try to make it work. You don't try to, you know, find ways to become happier with your husband, right? Like you're supposed to do. No, no, no. Just leave. Just leave, right? It, don't, it doesn't mean anything. It's nothing, right? And again, the best example, again, is a washed up adult film actress, again, who, by the way, <laughs> you know, uh, picks up shit on the sidewalk from her dog and then, you know, puts the mask on her face that she used to pick up that dog doo-doo. Yeah, She's the perfect example of how your life is going to end up, right? Again, it's just fascinating to me. It really is. And it's not just her. You also have other women like Chelsea Handler, who is a, what, 40, 50-year-old woman who is uh, single with no kids, also out here telling women that, hey, just divorce your man, right? You, you don't need a man. You can be happy on your own. Just leave him. Hi there, you caught me celebrating my favorite new trend, divorce parties. I read that the West African nation of Mauritania loves to celebrate divorce. And here's the gist, they don't place stigma on divorce the same way that other countries do. In fact, and I quote, in Mauritania, divorced women are seen as experienced and hence desirable. Basically, for centuries in Mauritania, which has matriarchal tendencies, when a woman gets divorced, all the other women in their community gather to eat, sing, and dance. It's basically everything we do for a bachelorette party, but with a better outcome. They say that Mauritania has the highest divorce rate in the world, but clearly they must have skipped over Bel Air. Divorce is something we should be celebrating because it means that you know your worth and you know what does and doesn't make you happy, and you decided to take action. As for Mauritania, the article profiles one woman who became a pharmacist and never remarried, single and crushing it girl, and now she's running to become the first female member of the national legislature for their town. <sighs> Sounds like I got to move there so I can vote and spread the word about my new divorce party planning business. Divorce parties. Till death do us part. T. Yeah. So again, uh, you have Chelsea Handler there who, again, has been coping for a long time with the reality of being single, okay, and uh, having no kids and no real purpose in life outside of being uh, a nuisance to society and a troll. Uh, she talks about happiness, right? But she conveniently leaves out the fact that research shows, I mean, like this is something that has been studied for a long time. Uh, and, and it's just consistent that marriage makes women happier and healthier, right? <laughs> women who are married are more likely to have better physical and mental health. Okay, that's just a fact. Okay, this has been studied time and time and time again. There are some leftists that come out here and try to debunk it and try to say, well, you know, happier people uh, tend to get married in general, right? Um, but regardless, I think there is something to be said about happiness and marriage and why they are linked. And I think that at the end of the day, um, trying to tell women not to get married or to leave their marriages, to divorce their husbands instead of working it out, you're really not helping a woman with her happiness, okay? Because I think that having meaningful relationships in the form of being with your husband and having kids I think is part of what makes a woman happy, right? Uh, and I think the same thing goes for a man, right? And um, I, I just don't think it's a good thing when you have these women out here pushing this idea that women just need to leave their man, right? Don't honor your marriage, okay? I mean, again, w w what does marriage even mean in 2023, right? What does it mean? <laughs> it doesn't mean anything at all because these women literally think that, hey, I'm just going to get in this thing. And as soon as I'm just unhappy about anything, I'm just going to leave, right? Because the grass is greener on the other side with my cats and my boxed wine, right? And my uh, friends who are also miserable, some are married, right? The married ones tend to be probably happier, right? I'm going to be happier like that, right? Instead of actually 
living meaningful lives, right? They really do think that being single, having no kids, and hating on men, and being mad at men, being mad at the world is going to make them happier than, again, just being in a relationship, you know, enjoying your man, enjoying your kids, and, you know, a family, right? I mean, it, it really is absolutely amazing. It really is. I feel bad, but, you know, I, sometimes I don't because, hey, maybe, just maybe, it is better for people like, you know, Chelsea Handler not to have children, right? Or Mil Khalifa to not be married and to have children as well, too, considering her life choices and the decision that she made, right? So again, you know, maybe that's the best outcome. Who knows, right? It's for some of these women to be lonely and miserable and to not have children. Maybe that's the best outcome. But I really don't appreciate these women coming out here telling women who may be in a happy marriage, who may have just a few issues that can easily be worked out, uh, telling women, nah, 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 because you're not 100% happy, you're only 90% leave, right? Break your promise, okay? Break your promise to your husband. Break your promise to God. Uh, become a single mother, right? Ebony K. Williams, right? Th this is what a lot of these mod modern women are telling other women to do, and I really think it's sickening. I really do. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.